So today I'm going to show you everything there is to know about the R9MX receiver. We're going to hook it up to this F7 flight controller. Now my next video I'm going to show you how to use F port on an R9SX on an F4 flight controller because F4 flight controllers use F port a little bit differently. It's a little bit different setup. So this video is an F7 flight controller. So I'm going to show you how to do F port with the R9MX on an F7 today. S port, F port to TX4, 5 volt to 5 volt, and then ground down here because this ground was kind of close and I didn't like how close it was when I was kind of getting the lead on there. So I moved it down to this ground here. That's all a common ground, so it doesn't really matter. So then I got my R9MX stashed right up here under the camera. That's where I like to put it. And then I like to leave it kind of loose. So I kind of, I've learned over time, the way I build everything is to be really tough. That's why this Helium build has all these beefy 3D printed parts here. I like to be really tough, so everything's loose. There's always slack in all the wires, because when you hit stuff, I want there to be slack so that these solder joints don't get ripped. So the, the antenna is running from up here. This is loose, so this is like shock mounted, so when it crashes, this has room to give and then this connector is not going to pop off. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the SD card out of your x -Lite Pro, put it in your computer, and we're going to download the R9MX firmware and put it in the firmware folder on your SD card contents. So, where we put all our other firmware, you can see it's already there because I've already done this, but this is where we're going to put the firmware on the SD card of your radio. So we're gonna to go to the homepage, FR Sky RC. Then you're gonna go down, select your product. So we're gonna pick the R9MX receiver. We're gonna to go to the download page here. All right, so the R9MX firmware only has access available for it. You can't use ACCST firmware on the R9MX. If you need to use ACCST, you have to use the R9MM OTA access. You can flash it back to ACCST. The R9MX, the firmware is just not available for it. It's not possible. So there's only the access firmware. So we're going to select the R9MX and go to the download page and download the access firmware. The latest version is the only version available is version 1.3.2. So then we're going to extract this and I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to select FCC. I'm in the US so I just use FCC. Uh, I would suggest using Flex if you're in the EU. Um, it gives you some more options that are available in the FCC version. So you're just going to extract the FCC version to See, I named my SD card for my X-Lite, x, -Lite, x -Lite Pro, and put it right in the firmware file there. Now, I've already done that, so I'm not going to go through that process there. All we're going to do now is pop the SD card out. We're going to put this SD card back in the x -Lite Pro. Now, the first step in this process is you have to register and bind your receiver to your radio. I'm not going to cover the registration or binding procedure in this video. We're going to go straight to flashing OTA. I just took this RX straight out of the package, I soldered it right into my quad, and now I'm flashing it. So now we have the radio all updated, firmware is flashed and updated, the RX is registered, bound, firmware is flashed and updated. We're ready to get this set up in Betaflight or Emu Flight or whatever you're using to run your FC. I'm going to show you how to do an Emu Flight. Remember, we're using an F7 board and we're running F port. So I have the F port or S port S bus, uh, S port F port lead connected to TX4. 
So any available UART that's a TX will work. Um, and that's gonna be my F port channel. So we're gonna get that set up in Emu Flight. It's really easy. It's gonna take about five minutes and then we're gonna be able to get this thing in the air. We've got our R9MX installed in our quad. Again, we're using an F7. So this tutorial is gonna show you how to do this with an F7 or an F3 and F4 is a little different. We'll cover that in a different video. So I've connected the R9MX to a free UART open TX port on your board. Now I had said initially that I connected this to TX1 on my board. It turns out this specific board, this is the V1 Fox Ear F722 and TX1, the first UART, is an incomplete UART. Uh, so what that means is you can't use F port on that TX. So I've moved it to TX2. Uh, I'm not gonna show that, I just quick swapped it over to the TX2. So we're gonna show that in my setup. So that's UART2 that we'll be using. Uh, so that's for the V1 F722s from Fox here. Uh, incomplete UART. Anytime you have an incomplete UART, you gotta use something different and hope you have ones that are complete on here. As far as I know, UART 2 is complete, so we should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to EMU flight, and this will work in EMU flight or beta flight. So connect, I'm gonna go to ports, UART 2. Well, first I'm gonna turn UART 1 off because I used to use SBUS. So UART 2, we're gonna turn Serial RX on save and reboot then we're going to go to configuration and i need to put this on dshot 1200 there we go i just flashed this so got to set her up quick that looks good so down here under receiver we're going to choose serial based receiver s bus just like before but instead of s bus you're going to choose free sky f port right here very important then make sure you have telemetry air mode osd you know whatever you want down here uh and then save and reboot so now we should be able to go right into our receivers tab here and we're going to power it up and see if we get stick movements and then we know we'll have a successful setup. Now there's a couple tricks. If we don't have stick movements, we might have to do it, but it's uh, pretty easy CLI commands that we'll just go in and basically it's you're messing with the half duplex and inverted on and off. So pretty easy once you get get her set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my battery. I got my radio on. So I'm not seeing any stick movements. All right, so we have no stick movements. So what we're gonna go and do is go to the command bar here. Set serial RX underscore half duplex equals on. And we're gonna go to save. Reconnect, back to receiver tab, plug her back in and try again. All right, so we're gonna try set serial RX underscore Inverted on. Save. Reconnect. Back to receiver. Not hopeful. There we go, we got it. 
All right, well, that's all we need, so we're good. Save. All right, so we have stick inputs there. That works. So what I had to do for this particular board is go into the CLI, turn the half duplex to on and the inverted to on, and now we have stick commands. You know, we have F port and telemetry and S bus all working with one wire on my Fox here F722. Little trick, if you're using that specific board, use UART too. The first UART is incomplete. Uh, if you're not getting stuff working, the problem that I've found in working with FreeSky and helping people to get their stuff in the air and getting stuff working, it's 90% of the time it's a firmware mismatch and the other 10% of the time it's some kind of issue with the binding process um, or something like that or something on the radio so we can get through this I'm here to help I'm here to show you guys how to do this it just took me like seven minutes with soldering this receiver in to get the R9MX hooked up working set up in F port in emu flight all my moves and everything set up and I'm gonna go fly and it was literally you know it could take you 10 minutes and probably takes longer for your soldering iron to heat up Flashing OTA is super easy. You can do this with any of the new access capable free sky receivers and transmitters. Archer, R9, it doesn't matter. They all do OTA, it's super easy. If you need help, let me know. I hope these videos help. There's gonna be a lot more coming. We're doing the R9SX next. It's basically the R9MM, but with diversity antennas. I replaced the R9 Slim, so. Stay tuned, we got more coming.